Let's check it up and check it out now. People, I gotta let y'all know something, okay? I got a homie, right? He a rapper, all right? Uh, I know I don't got rap homies, but you know what it is. I mean, he wanna win so bad, he want the fame, the acclaim. I mean, the respect that's been had by all the legends. So every time I see him, he be stressing, talking about niggas don't fuck with me. I ain't gonna lie, this shit is so depressing, and I know he's so bitter, but he can't see his own blessings. I mean, goddamn, nigga. Oh, you too blind to see you got fans? Nigga, you got a platform to make classic rap songs just to change niggas' life. Boy, you too anxious living your life, always worried about the critics who ain't never fucking did it. I mean, I be thinking, man, other rappers be writing what's in their heart. They don't give a fuck who fucking with it. But in a sense, I guess I could relate. I mean, the need to be great. I mean, it turns into a session. I mean, I'm a YouTuber, but you know what it is, right? It keeps a nigga up late writing words, hoping niggas and people observe the dedication that stirs in you constantly. But intentions do get blurred. Do I do it for the love? Or is there more to me? Do I want these niggas to worship me? I don't know, man. Some false prophet shit. Right now, yo, J. Cole actually wrote a whole verse about Wale. And I'm not going to lie, I agree with the entire verse. Uh, Wale is a very interesting individual to me. I clown him a lot. I mean, he is a very clownable guy. However, I, I definitely respect him, okay? I think he has a true love and dedication for the art. And even though a lot of people on the internet call him corny, you got to respect somebody like that who is definitely not the cool guy, but he definitely is talented, okay? Yet we see from time to time this guy either doesn't appreciate the blessings that is bestowed upon him. I mean, listen, you you, you could want to be the cool guy all you want and want to be the guy at the top, but you got to realize that in this game, you're blessed just to even be mentioned. All right? And oftentimes I see with Wale, he forgets that. He forgets that a million people would kill to be in this position. Oftentimes, he's so focused on worrying about the people in the positions that he'd rather be in. And it's not too many. Rather than actually realizing the position that he's in and the, 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 the gravity of that, okay? So when I see him post something on social media and he posted to Instagram and he said, Yo, I'm tired. I'm tired. I tried. This music industry will take your soul then make you want to leave. Niggas don't respect humble niggas, don't respect intelligence. They'll ask for this or that, and you deliver it, and they'll say it never happened. Let me air out some people. It'll make headlines. Let me uplift some people and get buried quicker than you can say lean Molly Zan. They'll kill you and then worship you when you're gone. Now, Wale, I got to say to you, man, you're 100% right, but you know what you signed up for, Okay. If the acclaim and the praise is all that really justifies your hard work and your work ethic and everything you've put, your blood, your sweat, your tears into the game, this isn't for you, all right? If that's what keeps you grounded, the clout and all that shit, this isn't for you, okay? You got to get that from your family, your friends, the people around you because you know this music industry is superficial, right? You know it's a bunch of trends. You know it's a bunch of fake people. It ain't never been different. It's always been like that since you got in. And you're not no rookie. You a veteran. So when you start to complain at this point about some of the things I've been seeing you complain about, it kind of puzzles me. Because what else did you expect? What else did you expect, Wale? I mean, I know you're tired of it, but it's never been different. And again, you have to realize why you do it. I do believe you have a tremendous love for the art, and I do know that some of your frustration comes from you seeing that there's probably not much appreciation for what you're doing and the real artistic value of what you do. However, you know what the game is. This is entertainment, baby. Okay? And again, as much as you might think it's unfair and um, as much as you may think you deserve more, and in some sense you do deserve more, but again, the people do the choosing. And again, we're in an era where it's not even companies dictating it. It's just the people. And the, the person or the people or whoever who plays best to the public, they win. So for that, man, I, I can't really have too much sympathy for you, even though I want to encourage you. But you can't just quit and go home or take your ball and go home because you don't feel you're getting to where you need to go. Sometimes you may need to work harder, and I do believe you're working harder, but sometimes even more than that, you may need to work smarter, okay? Again, if you're not into, and this is for all entertainers, if you're not into whatever the game is, and I know it's fake, 
I know it's fake. Okay, a bunch of fake people, fake smiles, and a lot of fake shit going on. If you're not into that, you got to leave. But if you really crave to be that top, the person who's really getting all the acclaim and all the all the praise, you're going to have to do some of these things that these other niggas are doing because that's what the fans want. Unfortunately, that's the case in this point in time. And if you're not willing to do it, you got to get out of the game, Okay. Wale, I believe you're tremendously talented. I do believe you've never gotten the attention for the actual value in your talent. But again, nowadays rap is more than just being talented. Rap is a bunch of gimmicks. Rap is a bunch of shenanigans. Rap is a bunch of who you dating, what you doing, are you flexing on social media. You've never really been too much of that. But you know what it is. And you're not a rookie to the game. You're not just finding out now. You've always known. Okay? Get in the comments. You guys like them. Subscribe. Do you guys understand what Wale's saying? And if you do, what's your response to it? I gave mine. Let me know in the comment section. Your boy Jack Academics, I'm up.